Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48 and welcome back to the infected and I hate getting rained on in my own base I think we're gonna work on a ceiling today, but we've got a lot of other stuff to do as well I need to get a clay extractor up. I need to check my extractors because I haven't checked my extractors in quite a while uh, Tonight will be a horde night. <laughs> what else do we have? I need to uh, oh, yeah I need to make more power more wind turbines so I can make more lights and we need to talk about an upcoming update he is actually going to be doing an update 9.4 because he said the update 10 is uh, going to be pretty big and he's going to be, um, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer than he thought. So he's going to do a 9.4 and I will be talking about that in a little bit. But first things first, let's go ahead and grab all of this iron and let's go ahead and get that clay extractor started. I really, really need that clay. Oh, also, you guys told me I could do 10 clay at a time for the 10 bricks. So thank you for letting me know that. I just, you know, I'm sure I saw it when it was when it was brand new and whatever update it came out in, but I just never thought about it again. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, people are telling me the Vambies are healing when they kind of like hold back and kneel down. They they heal, which kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> so I got to remember that. And um, you can put rocks in the storage racks. Yeah, you can't. I tried putting the rock, the rock holder thingies in the storage rack. Can't do it. Some people are telling me to just put storage racks over here and just use the, you, you know, keep your stones in the chest. I don't know. I like these stone things. I'm going to continue using them even though, you know, it's not, uh, it's, I mean, honestly, putting a storage rack here with all the, you know, um, chests in it and filling it all up with stone would probably be the best way to go. But I'm going to stick with this because I like the way these things work. So check that out. That's red, but I can't put it down in there. It does snap into place, which is pretty interesting, but you can't put it down in there. So, it is what it is, right? All right, so what is wrong with me? Well, <laughs> many things. <laughs> That's a loaded question, Cage. There we go. I meant down here. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Be beautiful. How many do are we doing on arrows? We've got 30 arrows. We're going to be doing Horde Night. Someone asked me why I bother shooting the, the Vambies when they're on the... Um, when they're on the spikes, because the spikes will kill them. Uh, the thing is, I think they take damage. I, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that when every time they get hit by the spike, the spike takes a little bit of damage. But I could be wrong about that. So, all right, there we go. We will be getting some clay. That's on one minute? Cool. That's really good, man. That'll, that'll get us a serious amount of clay. And we need to keep the stone going. Someone said, Cage, since you have so much stone, why don't you switch these to iron, you know, and uh, do it like that? Well, the thing is, I have I have a lot of stone, but it's not enough stone. Like, I, I go through so much stone, it's not even funny. Uh, so, yeah, I won't be doing that until I get, you know, a good amount more of, uh, of iron going. Um, I'd probably want at least four extractors before I, before I take any one off stone. The stone goes very quick, you know, just a little, a little bit of time up there. You know, so, and don't forget, I'm going to have three forges soon, too. So that's going to make the stone go even quicker. There we go. So I will leave, leave those alone. Now, I don't have an extractor on the copper. But I'm debating if I care right now. Um, I mean, I care. I want an extractor back on the copper. I just don't know when that's most important because I, I mostly need... I mean, the, the thing I need the most by far... By far, it's not even close. The thing I need the most is aluminum. But I will need copper again at some point. You know, I'd hate to wait too long and then not have enough, but... I don't know. I'm not really sure. I had to cut down some trees today, too. You believe that? It's the first time I've had to cut, cut down trees in a few videos. Quite a few videos, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy alright you know what I think I'm going to do now I think I'm going to check my food situation do some farming and uh, get ready for what, what month is this alright it's summer I'm going to get ready for horde night and then I'll come back when the uh, horde begins to come in horde night 12 of 12 another 3 horde nights and I'll be at max zombies for the horde which will be freaking sick you know what would be nice in this game I, I think we should get next a uh, floodlight you know and t take take note of what Cold Games did with Subsistence. Subsistence has by far the best floodlights of any game I've ever seen. Followed by Seven Days to Die. But Subsistence is better. Subsistence lighting in general is just uh, ridiculously good. Now I have not been replacing spikes here. And I probably won't. Because I don't think they can get up. Oh boy. That doesn't sound good. I'm just going to go out there on a limb and say that doesn't sound good. Oh, not dead? Okay. Thought that was a headshot, too. There you go. Can't have that, lady. I'm gonna have to put more spikes around the, uh, the foundations, that's for sure. Oh, boy. 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely more spikes around those foundations, no doubt. But I was going to say, these spikes on the sides, I don't think they can get up on the sides. So, probably not super needed. Or maybe they are, I don't know. I mean, they definitely help because they hurt them along the way. <sighs> she dead. Ah! Okay. Okay, you're done. And the other one's over here, right? Oh boy, hey, hey, cut that out! Damn, dude, what the hell? What a piece of crap. There you go. Oof! Used a lot of arrows on her, man. How's that bulk, bulk arrow thing going? Like, 25 arrows at a time, man. Can we please get that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like oh god look at all these look at this yeah that foundation took some serious damage that's gonna be a problem oh cool at least I can get them back that's nice it's nice of you guys all to come in the same spot I'm gonna have to seriously get some more spikes around this thing like for real definitely been letting my spike uh, defense lapse okay speaking of not, not spikes. Speaking of arrows, <laughs> I was thinking about arrows. Thinking about arrows, talking about spikes. Just another day in the infected. Now we got some light. You guys will be able to see. I'll be able to see. We're going to go out and check our extractors out in the world. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and get some water. And I'm going to have some proteins. And we're looking pretty good on food. And I normally cut these trips out, but I'm going to talk to you about the upcoming update, 9.4. Because it sounds freaking dope. It really does. Alright, so let's... By the way, like I said, the developer has said that he wants to get, you know, 10 out as soon as possible. But it's taking, you know, a little bit longer than he likes. So he's going to push a, a, a 9.4 update. I think he said 9.3 would be the last one. But, yeah. Things change, right? Just like I always say at the end of my videos. I reserve the rate to change my mind. Alright, so we'll go this way. Alright, so let's, let's see what we're looking at here. So it seems like the big thing for next update is going to be onions. New veg new vegetables grown in the wild. They can be grown on a plant bed using onion sprouts. Um, onion sprouts obtained by harvesting. Yeah, you know, we get onions. We're getting onions, people. Uh, onion soup made with the stove in a pot. At least 100 water and one onion to the pot and let it boil. Once cooked, use a clay bowl. Yep, clay bowls, guys. That's another thing. A clay bowl to grab the soup adds plus one to your maximum thirst when consumed. So that's interesting. We'll be able to up our maximum thirst. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, okay, the stew mix now requires one onion to make. One raw fish, one raw meat, um, one potato, and one onion. Okay. Uh, rations, recipe change. One stew mix, one melon, three mushrooms, and one plastic. Uh, rations, plus one proteins, plus one carbs, plus one max fats when consumed up to 200. Cool. Then there's going to be a veggie salad. Uh, one, uh, The veggie salad, not there's going to be a veggie salad, but they're going to put a change in the veggie salad. Plus one max vitamins when consumed. So that all really sounds cool. And I read, I could have swear I read somewhere he said that he's going to be making a change. You guys can let me know in the comments if I just dreamed this or what. Because I, I could have swear I read it. And then I was looking for it and I couldn't find where I read it. But I think he said, I think he said that he's going to make it so... So, plants will not be growing in the winter. Alright? So, you can't just go out. Like, if you got fruits and vegetables, you know, whatever. That stuff's not going to grow in the winter anymore. Now, that's just something I think I remember. But that could have been a fever dream. I, I don't know. Uh, so, who knows, right? Um, but I could have swore I remember reading that somewhere. And it would make sense. Because I always said, when he had, you know, when he made the change where, you know, he's going to make it so... Uh, uh, you had to like bring in your crops out of the cold in the winter and everything. I was like, well, is it going to like affect the ones that grow out in the wild? And he was like, no. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense then. Like it needs to affect the stuff that grows out in the wild as well. So yeah, I mean, I I'm guessing he's going to make that change. Like I said, I thought I saw it somewhere, but I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I was just dreaming about dreaming it. Okay. Now I do have a lot of copper at home, so I think I'm going to not. I think I'm just going to keep this stuff on aluminum for now. Uh, I think next time I come out here in a few days, 
Uh, I'm trying to come out here after every after every horde night, but sometimes I forget, and sometimes I'm just super busy. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep these over here for one more, one more trip, and then after that I'm gonna I'm gonna move one of these back into the copper position. So yeah, nine point four sounds dope, man. I can't wait for it. He said about one to two weeks, and this was put up a few days ago. Okay, I'm gonna need another ten iron ingots here, so let's get this thing started really quickly. Uh, because I can't, I can't even make one of the other four just till I get those ten iron ingots. So we're just gonna go ahead and start that up. And these, oh, every box in here is pretty much full of stuff that needs to be dealt with. <laughs> All right. Well, while we're waiting for that, why don't we come over here and grab these dried bricks? All right. And then we will put those in this one right here. All right. And now we need to make some more dry bricks. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to come down here into our... This this clay extractor is was a great idea. I'm so glad he did this. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing right here. It's not too fast. It's not OP. But it's going to get us a decent amount. If I wanted to put down one more, I guess I could. You know. Uh, but I, I don't really need to. At least not right now. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We need to find our sand. Because I got some sand in here somewhere. There we go. And you guys said I could put this in, what, the workbench to do 10 and 10? No. Okay, let me take... Oh! Yeah, actually, I think you're still right. I think this... Yep, there we go. Clay. Now 10 and 10. Beautiful wet brick. Thank you. Thank you for that, guys. I appreciate that. Like, when that update went live, I think it was the time... It was around the time I started my... Restarted my world. So I was like, ah, I'm not going to be there forever. And then I just forgot about it. <laughs> to the detriment of... Uh, of my sanity having to do these one at a time that's okay though there we go beautiful thank you guys you guys are freaking dope somebody said this is backwards as well is there is there a front and a back they both look the same to me ah that's there's no front and back as far as i can tell all right i'm just gonna move this right here for now because i'd like to move it in here once i find room all right, now we are just waiting on those 10 iron ingots. And uh, the stone, you know, the, the cool thing about this is as I build more forges, it's just going to start going faster and faster. And, like, you guys, like like I said, you guys said, oh, you got so much stone. You know, No, no, the stone's going to be gone in a, in a the blink of an eye. I, I actually want more extractors on stone. I might move the cobalt extractor. Oh, I already moved the cobalt extractor over here. Crap. Okay, well... I still want more of these on stone. Because, um... Once I get three of those things... You know, I'm going to be using, what, 30 stone at a time? 30 stone and a cook. Gone. That ain't going to take long. For some reason, I had 25 bricks in this. And I needed 50. But I thought 25 was enough. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, so what I did was... I put a bunch of bricks into this one. So what I did was... I actually destroyed this one and got all 49 bricks back so that's great so i put them all in here and we've now got a second forge ready to rock and roll that's just going to make the iron come out even quicker that is awesome i got this right here and we light this sucker up with this boom hells yeah i'm gonna wait for those to sync up though oh actually you know what they are kind of synced up i'll take these out now there we go. And then we're just going to be working on the third. Then I'm going to... Once the third is done, I'm going to just start banging out aluminum. Um, I forget what I need. I forget what I need for a windmill. Let me take a look really quick. Uh, power. Iron. Oh, iron. <laughs> Wait, wind turbines are 10 aluminum? I thought they were 15. You know, I'm thinking about the... Um, there's something else that was 15. I forget what it was, but... All right, yeah, I got plenty of lead. I got plenty of cobalt. It's just banging out iron. I'm going to get as many wind turbines up as I can. And I would really like to maybe get this up as well. Although, nah, another 20. No, nah, no, nah, we're not ready for that. Uh, although the grinder might be something I do want to do. Because my axe is probably, yeah, the axe is starting to get a little bit dull. So the grinder might be something we want to do. I don't know, but we're gonna just going to bang out a lot of stuff, get some power going. I definitely want some lights in here. Because I don't like these lights. I don't think they're that good. Somebody said the oil lamps are like the best lights in the game. I don't I don't know what they're talking about. Because, well, maybe they've been changed. 
I will fully admit that maybe the oil lamps have been changed, but last time I used the oil lamps and it wasn't that long ago, they were absolute like trash as far as lights go. So, um, for one iron ingot and two copper, a, a really bad light is not going to do it for me. I'd rather spend a little bit more, use some electricity. I know the ceiling lights are good, so I'll go with those. The only thing I'm not sure about this build is where I want to put the wind turbines. You know, I'm going to have to think about it. Honestly, I kind of want to put them on top of that mountain. <laughs> I'd have to like make a walkway up there, though. Uh, getting around like the outside, it's just it would take too long. So I'm not really sure. I'll just put them wherever for now. But eventually, eventually, there's going to be a walkway over there that is going to be my greenhouse. And then there's going to be some kind of crazy Mines of Moria staircase up to the top of that cliff. And that's where I'm going to put, yeah, that's where I'm going to put my wind turbines. I think that'll be pretty cool. But I do have uh, three of them or two of them set up out here. Uh, because like I said, I do want to have some lights in, in this, you know, house. Uh, I was supposed to put the roofs on this thing too. I totally forgot about this. All right, yeah, let's put the let's put the ceilings. Part of the reason I haven't put ceilings up is because it when it, once the ceilings are done, it's going to be super. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, once the ceilings are done, it's going to be super dark. You know, even during the day, it'll be dark. So that's why I would like the proper lights. But I think we'll I think we'll be able to make some pretty soon. There we go, and you go like that. There. And uh, come on, work with me here. There, there, there. All right, then we take this out. And we put that one in correctly. There we go. I think those are all incorrectly. I might miss one or, one of those or something, but that's okay. I can always break it down and redo it if, if that is the case. Uh, let's see. How's the best way to do this? All right, first things first. Let's come in here. We got to keep the stone flowing. Oh God! Speaking of man, I got no stone. The stone is gone. I think um, after I use this iron on the two wind turbines I'm making and the lights, I'm going to uh, put another extractor out there because we're going to be burning through stone now like it ain't no thing. But the cool thing is. We're starting to ramp it up. Ramping up production now. This iron should really be coming in at a good clip now. Alright. There we go. Looking good. Okay. There. There. And there. Alright. We're just waiting for some more dry bricks. I'm going to go check on those really quickly. Oh, there we go. One, two. I don't know if that's enough though. I think that's going to be a little short. That's okay. We'll get it. Mm, yep, five short. That's a little short. It's all good. It is all good. Let's go ahead and get some of these roofs going. Okay. Do I want to bring the... Uh, do I want to bring the cart up for these roofs? I don't know. Doesn't really seem that worth it. I could do this pretty quickly. Uh, I did put a couple of those ceilings down incorrectly. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Let's go up here and see what we can do about it. Do I want to fix them now? Eh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Let's just dump all these planks into here. There we go. Yeah, I'll fix them. But I'll fix them once I can get on the like once I can get on the top, the top of the roof. Did I not leave the thing up here? I don't think I did. Did not leave the card up here. All right. Well, it is what it is. Oof. Took a little bit of a spill there. <laughs> Alright, well, it's fine. I can take it. Alright, so let's go ahead. And I think I want to get all these, um, all these log holders off of here. Maybe. It seems like a pretty good spot to have them. And we still got a lot more building to do on this thing, so. Yeah, I, I'll probably leave them there, I guess. For the time being. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish this freaking roof. And I've got this thing. I don't have any more stone. I mean, I have some rocks, but I don't have a lot of rocks. So I've kind of transitioned to other things. So I'm now smelting other stuff. I mean, I have a lot of stuff to smelt anyway, so. I mean, we are going to need just an absolute ton of aluminum. Ever so slowly getting over there. There we go. Oh, got no room in there. It's okay. We got enough, maybe. No, actually we don't. Alright, fine. We'll tiptoe over here. 
what I have. I have um, iron and lead. I think lead is all the way down here at the end. Yeah, right there. There we go. And iron is this way. Ugh. <laughs> Moving around the, all this, like, all this, uh, I don't know, all these ingots and stuff is just... I hate being over encumbered. But it is what it is. You can only do what you can do. Can I think of any more cliches? <laughs> I'll try. All right, we are going to do some hardcore smelting now. Okay? And we are going to be encumbered. And it ain't going to make a gosh darn bit of difference. I'm just going to plant all these right behind me. And we are going to go ape shit. It's going to be awesome. All right, so there we go with that. And then we fill that. And then we do this. Um, please tell me I have a piece of coal around here somewhere. There it is. I see you. There we go. And like that. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Just load it up. Load it up. No iron. That's the only thing I don't want to cook. Because i got to save that for steel. Alright. There we go. Look good. I'd like to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, some of this. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of cobalt. Alright, a little more of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Looking good. Alright, so we, <laughs> we have left no room. We left no room in our inventory. Just... Get this out of here. Stupid freaking planks. Always in my freaking way. Alright, let's do this and this one. Oh, I missed one. Here we go. And then let's do Yeah, see we're gonna run out we're gonna run out of room here because of the ingots. So this doesn't really work <laughs> uh, the way I want it to, although I'd like to just be able to hold all this stuff and then take the ingots all at once, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna happen, because I don't want to go to the ingot shelves being encumbered. It's just it's too far, unless I put the ingot ingot, the ingot shelves within reach. But all right, there we go with that. And for this one, we do. Oh, we don't have enough. There we go. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingot shells a little... Nah, I'm going to leave the ingot shells where they are. I don't want to move them. They're, they're freaking dope. Just where they are. I'll just have to be a little bit, you know... I'll have to be a little bit inventive here on how I do things. But there we go. Got a lot of ingots. Put those away. Alright, and we load these up. I, I was probably holding stuff I didn't need to. Like the planks, those bricks, you know, stuff like that. There we go. That is awesome. People tell me you can stack these... um. These ingot shelves, I am fully aware, and I will be doing that, but just not right now, because I've already got like a million ingot shelves, and they're, they're not exactly cheap, but I definitely will be stacking them in the future. Okay, and there's the copper, and we now have aluminum. All three aluminum shelves are full. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start dumping some aluminum into these bad boys. I want these done today anyway, so yeah, we could definitely empty out quite a bit of that aluminum. Let's get some more stuff cooking first, though. Okay, yeah, let's get another thing of aluminum. What is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. There we go. That's full of that. This is full of this. And anything that's not aluminum or. Oh, here we go. Cobalt, yes. Copper, no. Cobalt, 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 leave the iron. Uh, that's eight, nine. And, oh yeah, we got a lot of cobalt, okay. I don't remember what I'm gonna need a lot of cobalt for, but I remember last season I needed, like, a lot of cobalt. Not quite as much, you know, as the aluminum, or really as much as the iron, but, you know, it, it was, it was enough, like, where I had to, like, think about it. Alright, so, what do we do next? I think we're gonna put down some, uh, some lights, right? Sounds good to me. Alright, so... Oh, no. We can't do the lights just yet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't remember how many I need. Can't do the lights yet because we got to finish up these... Uh, we need power for the lights. So, here we go. And beautiful. Alright, lead, iron, and cobalt. Lead, iron, and cobalt. Yeah, the, co the iron is going to be the mother effer. Yeah, iron. Oof. Five, six, seven, eight. 
right. I think we're going to have a fire to do the lights I'm going to want to do. But, man, I need, I need more stone. I need a lot more stone. Okay, so lead and cobalt. Lead and cobalt, 10 and 8. Lead and cobalt, 10 and 8. I need more lead, too, man. I didn't realize the lead. 10 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I'm mean, going back to the cage, right? I'm going to need the mushrooms anyway. For what? I don't know. Actually, I really don't need the mushrooms that much, but they they are useful. There we go. Oh, you know what else I need? I need a freaking panel to tell how the electricity is doing. I haven't made one of those yet. Damn. Oh, another four irons. This is going to kill me, but I, I need it. So, oh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, is that a good spot for it? Seems like a pretty good spot for it. All right, these forges have put in enough work for one day. I think I'll give them the rest of the day off. They have been doing major, major work. All right, I do have some lights out here, though. And there's my third. So there's my three lights. I won't know how good these lights are until it's nighttime, but they look pretty good for, for now, you know? Um, I think the next time I work on this place, it's going to be all about setting up this uh, this area here. I'll probably, I think I'm going to make this like a makeshift kitchen for the time being. I want to move like everything over here and be done with that other base, except for Horde Nights. Uh, probably by next video. And then I'm thinking like as we go along, I will, you know, Horde proof this base as well. But um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done with that other base. I'll use this for a makeshift kitchen. This is going to be my work area. Uh, this is going to be obviously my smelting area. And then up here will be bedroom and a kitchen. And probably it. That'll probably be it. Just a, be a bedroom and a kitchen. And then I need to get, go over there and get the um, uh, get the farm going. The real farm. Let's see. Uh, other. Yeah, this right here. The greenhouse. Hey, I, wait a minute. I got the thing for the greenhouse? I didn't know I got the, um, the tech for it. But I still need the tech for the water house. The greenhouse without the water house... It's just not that good. <laughs> you know you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. But I think next episode is probably going to be an action episode. I think we'll go out and um, explore some more of the towns and see if we can get some more tech. But guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Mm -hmm.